Fraud is pumping up the ADA market cap to 35 billion. No, the market did that. We didn't do anything. It's called 2017, son. Happened to everybody. Rising tide. Second, little to no code written. It was a fully finished product. Byron existed. It was a federated product like Ripple. Okay. <laughs> People had it, had liquidity. Uh, we never sold any ADA. We never participated in any trading. But yet we're fraudulent because you say so. Think about that. You see, this is what people do. Scam, fraud, dishonest, bad, not like, not think. All the things you've done are invalidated because one thing happened I didn't like, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's a thought process and it's a cognitive loop that they get stuck on. And then they say, you're just a bad guy. And all you ADA holders, you're just stupid. You're unwashed masses. <laughs> you're here because you read the papers. All those papers don't exist. You're here because you looked at the code. No, that code doesn't exist. You're here because you're doing something with it. No, you couldn't possibly be doing something with it because, oh, well, uh, it doesn't exist. It's not real. There are still people today that think Cardano doesn't have any code. There are still people today who think that we haven't written any code since February because Crypto Miso refuses to update the repos. And as a result, they're showing a deprecated repo we no longer commit code to. There are still people today that think Shelly hasn't shipped. And you can tell them, they'll just ignore you. It's like those people who think the earth is only 6,000 years old. No burden of evidence, no burden of science you apply to show them that will ever convince them otherwise. They're fanatics in that respect. People don't like being wrong and they'll go to enormous lengths to justify their beliefs, right or wrong. And that's how it is. And uh, you know, is this a good industry? No, it's a neutral industry. There's a huge amount of up and there's a huge amount of down because it's a human industry. And humans aren't good. Humans are neutral. They do good things, they do bad things. They hurt people, they help people. They're sinners and saints in the same people. So if this industry reflects them, it is a mirror that shows us the inconvenient truth of human nature. And this is the beautiful juxtaposition of cryptocurrencies in a third respect. They show you your sins. And you may not want to admit them, but they show them to you. It's why Ethereum Classic exists. It's why Bitcoin exists. They are symbols to when decisions were made that contradict what you intended them to be. In the case of Bitcoin, we said the world financial system has to work in a particular way. And it decided it didn't have to. And bailout culture began. Too big to fail began. So Bitcoin was created on the back of that. And right in the very first block was a reference to the bailouts. In the case of Ethereum Classic, a promise of illegality was given. Code is law. You can't change the code. The code doesn't care. The system doesn't care about the consequences of the code it runs. It's a neutral party. But this particular case for the greater good, let's intervene and change things. So now Ethereum Classic exists. You see, these are mirrors and they're inconvenient because they show you when you've made a mistake as a society or lied to people or built a deceptive system. You need these things to get better. You need to see yourself naked in the mirror and see the fat and the ugliness and then be honest about it. And when you see it, then you say, okay, I'll go on the diet. Okay, I'll go start exercising. If you don't see these things, you don't have a problem. It's, it's like delusion. You can just put a cloak on and pretend it's not a problem until it kills you. And that's the world we live in right now. Social media allows us to see the, all the sins of other people and then we can harshly criticize them but then we pretend like we have none. It allows us to express bizarre opinions and then live in echo chambers and pretend that all the enlightened, reasonable people hold those opinions and everyone else is wrong. And then we silo out and then we judge people for not having our enlightened opinion. Cryptocurrencies don't care about any of that. Blockchains don't care about any of that. They don't care about how you feel. They're the least fraudulent of all things humanity has ever constructed and the closest thing we have to an economic law of physics.